came up when baseball was still a segregated sport in the major leagues. It was scary. I'll I, I tell you the truth, it was scary. He just here to play ball. And then Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier and became the first African American to play major league ball. But once Jackie signed, then things began to change. I know my attitude changed, and I felt like uh, uh, if, he, uh, if he made it, I could make it. That was so key for him. Over the weekend, the story of Jackie Robinson, the first African-American to play in the majors, hit the big screen in the film 42. It was number one at the box office. It sure was, and today marks the 66th anniversary of the day he broke the color barrier in baseball. Our Rhonda Walker has the story of a Detroit man that was an up-and-coming baseball player at the time and the impact Robinson had on his life. Ronald Teasley is now 86 years old, but back in the 1940s, he was a young black baseball player from Detroit. Jackie Robinson was his role model. And one day, just before Jackie was to board a train to join the Brooklyn Dodgers in the major leagues, he took five minutes to talk to Teasley at his tryout with the team, a conversation that he says influenced the rest of his life. He paved the way, though. They, they, they just courageousness that I could just imagine uh, what he went through. And through it all, Robinson took time to mentor young black athletes, even delaying his departure on the day he was leaving to make history as the first African American in the major leagues. Jackie waited for us. He heard that we were coming, so he met us at the at, at, at the bus and uh, came over and. Uh, uh, congratulated us on being signed and we thanked him for his efforts. And in this five minute conversation, the baseball legend instilled some words of wisdom that 21 year old Teasley remembers 66 years later. Well, naturally, we were in awe, you know, we, we, just, we listened to everything he said. He said to be very attentive, be on time, and, uh, and, uh, and obey the rules. And sound advice on, uh, on, on uh, the, the things that would help us to succeed. It really changed my life, yes. At 86, lifelong Detroiter Ronald Teasley, a married father of three, is surrounded by memories of his days as a semi-pro, college minor, and Negro League baseball player. He recalls the day they met, and Jackie shook his hand. After he shook my hand, I just, uh, just had to stand there and look at my hand, you know, and uh, just, just in awe of just such a great, courageous human being. It made it possible for me to uh, know that... Uh, I could play at that level. As a youngster, Teasley loved to play baseball on the fields in Detroit, and he was good, good enough to catch the attention of some former Negro League players at the age of 12. At Northwestern High School, he was the first African-American baseball captain, and at Wayne State, he was compared to Jackie Robinson. I uh, had a couple of good years of baseball at Northwestern. I batted 400. Then at Wayne State, uh, I batted 500 and built the, uh, the, the school record, and it still stands. He even caught the eye of the Detroit Tigers. One of their uh, uh, super scouts, Pat D'Annunzio, gave me what they call a secret workout. <laughs> and uh, I worked out at uh, Butso Field. It's just a bunch of current products still fighting the Civil War. And thanks to the courage of Jackie Robinson, who endured great and painful racism as he broke the color barrier of Major League Baseball, he blazed the trail for young athletes like Teasley. Rhonda Walker, Local 4. Now, after baseball, Mr. Teasley returned here to Detroit, got his bachelor and master degrees from Wayne State, and he still holds that career lifetime average there. He does. He was a high school teacher, served on the Board of Education for 34 years, and is an inductee of Wayne State and the Afro-American Sports Halls of Fame. And he still lives here in Detroit, gives the film two thumbs up, uh, but he wishes that it told more of Jackie's courageous life and accomplishments after baseball in the Civil Rights Movement, and that was something that uh, Jackie's widow wanted in that as well. Uh, apparently that was just something that they had couldn't didn't have time to put in. And just on a side note, the movie earned just over $27 million this weekend, making it the number one film. Thank <laughs> you.